and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and this YouTube channel is dedicated to finding the world's best productivity tools. And today what I'll be doing is I'll be reviewing a specific calendar application called Calendars 5. As you can see down here, Calendars 5 is in my bottom dock in the display. It is an application run by a company called Readle. Now, Readle make a couple of other applications, things like Spark Mail, uh, Scannable Pro, PDF Expert 5 Documents, um, and, and a couple of other ones you may have come across. They also have this surface called Calendars 5, and I was able to discover it on social media, so I was on Twitter, and this was recently after, you know, Outlook officially announced they were integrating Sunrise into their system and Sunrise would be dying. So I decided I would hunt for one and Calendars 5 came up. Now, as you guys know, I have explored other applications like Fantastical 2 and a native Google um, calendar application and a couple of other applications on the calendar section. But Calendars 5 is something I keep mentioning on social. So what I'm going to do in this review is basically go over some of Calendars 5's best features. So as you can see, when you enter, you get a very clean looking display. When you hit this button up here, you get the ability to change the layout. One of the things I really enjoy about Calendars 5 is the layout abilities. You can actually see across a week or a day or even in list view and month view, as well as task view, which I'll mention in a minute. So there is a simple way of navigating through days and that's simply just by scrolling across, which is quite nice. And that's available in the day view. Other things you get in this kind of experience is the ability to press down and you can create an event straight away. It's quite responsive as well to every 15 minutes. So you can flick that there and simply start adding some information. So once you explore the view that you really enjoy, whether it's week, month, day, list, however you like it, you can even go into a notification center. So as you can see, you get a full bleed list of information that is coming into your calendar and you can then review it. You can either click all or new and actually see all of that information at a glance, which I quite like. So as you can see down here, you can also touch into certain events and actually see uh, specific information without actually going into it. So uh, that's quite interesting because a lot of calendars you have to dedicate going into each uh, event and actually seeing all the information. You sort of get a preview here as well, uh, which is brilliant. So the way to add a new event is simply hitting the plus bar in the top right hand corner. Now, as you can see, Sunrise, what it did when you entered a Sunrise event is it gave you a kind of panel of information that you would fill out, sort of like a form to create an event. And a lot of our applications do something similar. But this works in Calendars 5 as a very simplistic way to enter events. So this is similar to Todoist's Intelligent Input. Okay, so as you can see, I've just entered a general uh, title, plan car wash on Tuesday at 1am, bit of a weird um, car wash event happening then. But basically what it's done here is it takes the Tuesday coming, 1am um, and assumes it's a half an hour event. And when you click done, you can basically get uh, approve the information here. So that's a sort of form view you'll see on all the other calendar applications and simply hit save here and it will add it straight to it. One thing you can do straight away, which is nice, is in that sort of preview view is delete it straight away. And that's a good way of getting it deleted. To handy, one thing you can do here though, is if you hit space, you can turn it straight into a task. So as you can see, once you enter a task, you can simply hit done and uh, you can put it into your inbox of tasks. To find tasks, you simply go up to this three uh, bar area and hit tasks. So you can see an overview all of your tasks in inbox. If you haven't organized them yet, you can see upcoming. You can see list as well, which we can create. So you can sort of embed all of your tasks into your calendar, which is nice too. Something that many other calendar apps are doing uh, at the moment too. So one other thing is at the top, you can actually go into information about your calendar. Uh, once you see all this information, you can actually edit it and add any calendars that you wish. I've got a couple of Google calendars on here as well, which look quite nice. Uh, pretty simple to use and set up too, which I really enjoy too. To access any settings, you simply go to this cog in the corner. You can manually sync the calendar. You can manually sync the calendars at any given time, which is quite nice. Um, they work well offline. You can also sync local calendars too, change the timeline. You can even change the option specifics. So if you like your days to start on a Monday 
and also change the viewing specifically um, every time you enter the app, as well as what the badge icon shows too. You can go into more details about editing options, alert options too, and task options, uh, which is beneficial, especially if you're using ta Google Tasks and iOS Reminders, you can sync both of those two, which is very valuable. As you can see, Calendars 5 by Readle isn't anything too exciting. It's a very simplistic application. It does a very good job. The only thing it doesn't have against Sunrise is probably the ability to connect it majorly to other services. However, the team at Readle have let me know that they are working on a new version of uh, Calendars 5, something a bit more appealing on the design, I think it will be. Um, and maybe potentially the ability to access more um, third-party services inside this. Because imagine having your Evernote feed right there, um, sort of really beneficial. What I like about this calendar is it is very open. I mean, they've got some great views, um, some, some really nice ways to edit and change, as well as the really unique feature of adding your own uh, event in a very simplistic way, a very easy way to do that on the go. But apart from that, Calendars 5 really is my new solution to calendars um, and it fits right next to Todoist uh, at the moment, which is very friendly. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I'm going to be doing some more calendar reviews in the near future, only based on Sunrise being unavailable at the end of the month. And I know a lot of people will be hunting for those perfect calendar apps to start getting set up on. It's available on iOS only and iPad, obviously. Um, I believe there's a Mac app too. Um, I'll get confirmation on that in the comments, but it's something to get you started um, on a new route. I will be looking for Android calendar applications. I've been getting a lot of requests for iOS applications, so that's my delay on that. But I really will be sharing some more options with you. I've been getting a few emails from some companies that have some Sunrise competitors, so that'll be interesting to see. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this review. I'm looking forward to seeing whether any of you take up uh, any interest on Calendars 5. I'll let you know all the information about how to purchase Calendars 5 in the comments on iOS and Android. Um, sorry, on iOS and iPad 2. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this review. Uh, please do share it with your friends if you enjoyed it. Apart from that, have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon in a new review uh, coming very soon. <laughs> Cheers and have a great week.